Okay guys, last part of our mount sequence here. It's what happens if the guy's really defending, he can't get through his arms, and he can't separate his arms from his body. Everything's in tight, he's defending, very, very hard to break it down, and he just doesn't want to give it up here. If you start obsessing over it, fighting, really doing, like really going crazy, it's a good chance he's going to start escaping. So what we're going to do, right, we're not going to get fixated on the position, we're going to move on and start looking to take the back. Right, other options also include like arm triangles, things like that, but we're going to look at taking the back. Always a great option. So here, we're attacking his arms, got this nice high mount here. His arms are coming across, but he's keeping everything tight. What we're going to look to do now is just get to the outside of his body, outside of his elbows here. Once I have that, I can start pushing across, and that's going to give me the arm bar sometimes. But as soon as he starts to turn, if he's really fighting and doesn't want to give his arm up, he's keeping everything in. As soon as I use my body to start turning the arm, right, his body's going to move too. And what I need to do is I need to get underneath his shoulder. Right? As I do that here, I fill this space with my knee, just like I was doing for the s mount armbar. But in this case here, because he's not trying to stay flat on his back, because he's letting, he's keeping everything tight, his whole body turns. Try and see that side here, here. Control the arm, everything's coming across. He doesn't let his arm come away from his body. So I slide my knee nice and high. That's under his shoulder here. So it's on his side. My knee blocks him from coming back down here. From this position here, I can use my weight to take him more onto his side here. And what I'm going to do is come under his top arm here. So I'm looking for my seat belt. See the grip here. You need this knee up by his shoulder, okay? and my foot is down by his belt. It's super important here. As I'm here, I'm pulling him over, and if my foot is in the right place, it's going to pop out just in the right position. Here, put my hooks in. If it's in the wrong place, it's going to get in the way. Okay. So, here. Attacking, he comes off to the side. I drop his knee in here. My other leg steps up, pulls him tight to his belt. So now he's wedged into place. There's no room for him to move. Come under his head here, all the way through, under this top arm here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect him as tight as possible, drop his foot by his belt, sit back down, pull him across me. I'm not going flat to my back, keeping myself tight in the back of the shoulder. Here, foot pops out. So I'm looking 